So do you guys feel sorry for slavery? Like when you when you hear about, it, are you apologetic or do you or do you don't think? Oh no, I I hurt. I am I am hating the color I am sometimes. It's rare to meet an honest, sincere white person, and I thought you no, two were that. No, and you two are not honest. You guys are not honest. I thought you guys were honest. If your ashes don't show, so you just you just lying like the forefathers you know did to the Native Americans. That's it. I can sit here with all my heart and say I will kiss your boots. It doesn't matter if you don't believe I would. I'm 75 years old. You may not believe that, but I can't go down there and do that. You, you would put your yeah. You bring it there. Right there. Yeah. Give her a hand. All right. You mean everything to me because I know you mean everything to Christ. And Christ means everything to me. And I called on the Lord. I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they don't follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shot, they ought to love one another. And they doing it. Quality okay. and social justice, and so I want to know what your group is about. That's why I always talk. I'll tell you. Anyway, I'm Diane. Diane, Kazak. Kazak, there you go. Uh, this is the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, okay. better known as the ISUPK. Okay. Uh, we teach that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's chosen people according to the biblical records. Okay. And we were started out of 121st Street Hall in New York under Commander General Yohanna. And so we teach that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have to follow the Bible. We have to come back to our biblical culture to fix our community. When you talk about, uh, you work at the Martin Luther King Memorial. Yes, Reverend King's Memorial. Right, right. when you go into the Bible, you'll find out that Martin Luther King's dream went against God. And that's why today, black people, we don't have too much to show from the civil rights. Every other minority group has benefited from the civil rights movement, while the people who are actually in the movement, who are on the ground, who are getting sprayed by water hoses and sick by German right. shepherds, we don't have anything to show for. Martin Luther King's dream of integrating us was a failure. It was it a was, failure. Was it didn't good. work. It didn't work. You agree? So, all right. And so, have you read 1619? The, the 1619 Project? Yes. Absolutely. I have the book signed by her. Okay. Anyway, so I think whatever you're doing here, mm -hmm. um, I, I, I wish you the best. I mean, well, I'm right well, there with you. Thank you. Well, let me ask you this. You, you believe in equality, right? Absolutely. What do you think has to happen? for equality to be achieved for black people. What do you think has to happen? I think it's the young, it's education in the younger crowd. Education. Okay. Education, of, and it means that a lot of people who are white have to get over what was happening way back when and just say, it's time to just give it up, honey. And okay, this is well, where we are. I like those answers. Okay. Let's, well, let's look at history. What did the Jewish people do after World War II to get equality? What, right. ha what had to happen in order for them to get equality, well, they got a home. That's, the, that's, the, that's the biggest thing. They right. got a land, yeah. and not only that, the people that destroyed their people were brought to justice. Right. Right. And the problem in America is the people who destroyed black people were never brought to justice. No. Can you honestly say I, anybody I, paid for slavery? No. Absolutely not. And, and you know what the Germany did? They, they funded getting Israel Set up. Set up, exactly. Yeah. So, so they, they had their own reparations. Oh yeah, for sure. So yeah. right. it, the Jewish people and were so paying. And so Israel should be repar giving rep reparations to oh, Palestinians oh, right now. Well, we ain't talking about Palestinians. Right. We're talking know, about but, black know, people. But here, there should be reparations. Uh, if they can track it, it's got to be tracked to a certain point. So you believe yeah. that America should pay black people? Absolutely. So now, monetary payment is what you're saying? Monetary? Some way, yeah. Some way. Well, let me ask you this. If America did decide to pay the children of the slaves money, 
how would that still make us equal? Do you, do you truly believe well, that's equality? No. Well, no. That's, that's like it. what we did to the American Indians, and it certainly didn't make it equal either. So it, what it else is has a to mindset. Happen? Well, what it's else has like, to happen? I think it's education. I, I think it, it, it's, I think it's horrible, what, especially what they're doing in the schools still in the South. And they're, they're banning books. They're doing all this stuff. Right. It's got to stop. Anyway. I, I'll I'm tell you, according to the Bible, true equality <laughs> is our people served your people. If we were to ever be equal, what has to now happen oh, is then we serve you guys have to serve us. Now that's in the Bible. And a lot of people say that's not that's evil, but that's biblical. How could we ever truly be equal if you could never understand what our people have endured and the long lasting and effects? What do you mean by that then? You're saying what do you mean by then we're serving blacks? I mean I just don't understand. I what got you're you. Saying. Well, it's not my opinion. I can tell you what the Bible no, no, says. No, I'm, I'm not mad. No, no, I got you, I got you. I just don't want to misconstrue it as no, my no, opinion. No. We just, we, we go for what the Bible what says. What's your interpretation then of how that, then, I mean, we're in, you uh -huh. know. I mean, I, I I feel like I worked through a lot of stuff. I grew up in the South, uh -huh. and yes, um, we, I mean. And we live here, we live we right live around here, the block. Right 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 so anyway, I got so, so I'm asking you the question, what do you mean by that? Yeah. So the Bible, when it says, uh, we go to Revelation 13 and 9, it says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killeth with the sword. This is the patience of the saints, meaning they, we could never be equal unless white people now understand what it's like to have been ser to serve, to be in slavery, and then now to watch your generations. You gotta remember, we had a 400 head start. There's no possible way we could ever be equal. You've had 400 years of accumulated wealth, mm -hmm. all types of benefits that you may not even, we can't even fathom. You know, the emotional yeah, toll, yeah. the yeah. mental toll. Yeah. You know, so. But I don't know if we agree with, you know, to reverse it. Well, most know. white people, I can understand why yeah. white people would never agree with that because, you know, who, <laughs> what white person I, I would. Just hope, I just I hope everybody becomes well, why equal. Why would I agree right. to that if I didn't ever agree to, and, 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 and um, I hate the history that we have. Well, let me know. ask you this. You, you guys seem like honest Caucasians. Do you yes, believe that white privilege is, is real? Yeah. Oh, I, there's no question. We there's know when I have my sons walking down the street, it's really different than your son walking down Thank the street. You get it. I, I, get it. I have many friends that fear for their son's lives That's when right. they go out right. and they're black and my son's white. That's I right. totally get that. So now, so, how, yeah. now, let me ask you this. How were you guys able to attain that white privilege here in America? How did that come to exist? Because we were just the color we, we were are. Born into it. We were born into it. We were born into it. But I'm saying, what had to happen? No, no. You, you were born. You, you were born into it. But what had to happen for you to for it to exist in the first place? What had to happen for you to have white privilege in America? What had to happen? Okay. What are you asking? Then? You tell me. Your forefathers had to commit crimes, heinous crimes, no to establish now where any white person who comes to America can have a certain privilege there's no over black people. I know that my relatives that came here early on killed a lot of Indians. See? And they and then you're saying, oh wow, look uh -huh. at they they what the, what my relatives did. That's right. And I know what they and I know some of my relatives and I'm you know, I know yeah. that some of them in the South had slaves. Not a lot of them. Okay? You can admit. So I, I agree with that. I no, no, am horrified by it. You should be. I hate that. And you should I hate, hate it. it. And I hurt from it. And why then do you think I am now, now not talking with you and, and, and wanting to hang out and talk about well, That's fine. Things. That's fine. I'm just right. giving you the answer. Because right. you, the, question, right. the question you ask is you, you don't think it's fair or right for guys to pay for something but at the same time you benefit whether you have a say in it or not you whether or not you agree you have white privilege because of what has taken place before so why is it wait, wait, so why is it wrong for now the flip side to happen like meaning you guys come into something you were born into privilege because of what took place well before you so now what the Bible is saying is your children and their children and their children are going to be born into a punishment because of what took place before them. Yeah, that's just the Bible. Yeah. So, all right. So that's 
I, I get what you're saying. Uh -huh. It's almost like saying, okay, then you, you know, then you, now you have to live in the hell that we lived in. That's it. Okay. That, and everybody that's understands right. I get that. That's justice. Yes. No, no. It is yep. justice. I get that. I'm glad you admitted that. Anyway. Yeah, when my son is over there waiting for well, it over my granddaughter, anyway. but we wanted to stop. Can no sweat. We? Absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, Absolutely. And your name again? Officer Kazak. Officer Kazak? Kazak. Yep, Kazak. under Commanding General Yohana in the ISBK. Okay. Anyway, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. What, what were you guys' and names? I, Steve uh, and Diane. Diane and Steve. Diane and Steven. Steven and anyway. Diane. Because yeah. okay. I, I was listening to what you were saying uh -huh. and um, I wanted to understand it. So do you guys feel sorry for slavery? Like when you when you hear about, it, are you apologetic, or do you, or do you don't think? Oh no, I, I hurt. I am I am hating the color I am sometimes. You don't have to and hate I the color you are. I no, I hate that I know what our my ancestor did, right. and there's nothing that I can do about it. Well, other I disagree. Than I other than live my life and 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 live it the way I am. To, to recognizing the injustice and the inequality that was here. And that's why I stand up and go to the Martin Luther King Library and I give my tours mm -hmm. and I read my books at a, a 16, 19 and I am a part of your community as much as I can. Well, here's the thing, that's beautiful. If I showed you what God said, you said there's nothing you can do about it. Right. Fortunately, there is. The Bible tells us what you can do to show that you are truly sorry and sympathetic to what has happened to black people okay. and Native Americans. And, uh, yeah, can okay, I show you? Can I show you? We have a Bible. Somebody pull the phone. I just want to show you the Bible. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, we. I, I just wanted to see what matters. Yeah, I think Absolutely. our son. You, left us. Like, you know, I'm not. I don't want to. I'm not getting uncomfortable. I know that no, we just no, left no, our, our family because I said it's they went to the ice cream store. Okay. No sweat. I just want to show you in the Bible what it says you guys can do. Because I, once again, I believe it's well, rare. I, I you guys are honest, sincere I white people, totally which is rare. Well, because most of the time, white people try to escape accountability for what has oh, happened. No, no. So you I guys mean, seem I, to I, take I, accountability. I, I, I hurt. Yeah. And I, and I um, stay awake at night, and I'm remorseful for what happened in our past. I think it's outrageously um, just uh, well, it's painful. Right. And I feel the pain. You feel the pain? Yeah, I feel the pain. Absolutely. I'm glad so. you said that. A lot of people, they can't understand our pain. They can understand oh, no. the Palestinians' pain, the Jewish oh, no. man's pain, the Ukrainians' pain. They, they can understand everybody's pain, but for some, for some reason, no. our pain is not important. Oh, no. And, I, and, and I think that's what our country does because they try to, it's, they put the blacks at the bottom of the heap, no matter what. So you said it, I didn't say I it. No, no. They, hey, say, they say we have a victim mentality when we no, call no. a spade a spade. Yeah. No, no, I know that. It's like everybody comes in our country and now it's like, oh, you know, then it's the, the, the Italians, then it's the Irish, and then now it's the, the Browns. And then it's like, oh, no. Everybody so, can come to anyway. America and benefit. Anyway. So I'm going to the Bible really I, fast. I just want to say... Um, thank you for listening to me. Absolutely. Can and, I read you the scripture and, before yeah, you guys go? I just want to give us again, all, everything that we say is based in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You understand? Everything we do is well, biblically we based. A, a, can we take a photo of it so we know where that is? That's fine. Absolutely. Bible. 49 and 23. That's good. He's going to read it for you while you get your camera. Read that, please. Right, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse, verse 23. And kings shall be thy nursing father. And their queens, thy nursing mother. This is describing the dynamic that has taken place in America. Black men and black women literally raised up white children, raised yes, up white did. families. Okay. There's many pictures of black you women suckling we white know. babies. Oh, no, no, no. We know you know, that. The Bible's describing this. Right. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth. So now this, the Lord is saying the first step into showing true remorse for the things that have taken place, that the dynamic between our people is for your people, the children of slave masters, to bow down to the children of the slaves. Now, are you guys too proud to do that? I, mean, I know a lot of white people, they, they think they're too- I'm right now here. Yeah, right here. I was like, fine. I do. Right there. Okay, give her a hand. Give her a hand. Right. That's it. Give, give, right. give Diane a hand. Right? Now, Steve, you can bow down. You don't, have to you don't want to do it, Steve. I mean, I can do it. This is this is a, this is a gesture that the I Lord is saying. Bad knees. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do have bad knees. Right. They shall bow down 
to thee. That's what our people did. Our people literally were cattle to white people. Our people literally bowed down and were footrests. So are you willing to kiss the boots of the children of the slave? I would, absolutely. All right, I get, I heard you. Now that's kind of halfway. That's kind of halfway. No, it's the, the Lord halfway. is describing it what it is. I get Once that. again, this is not my words, and you don't have to do it. The Lord is no. describing what it is. But he, and I know the Bible too. It doesn't mean it's a figurative statement, but I am with This is not figurative. This is, this is literal. I understand. We didn't go into figurative slavery. And we went into literal slavery. Black women literally nursed white children. Black men literally protected white families. This is nothing about that is figurative. I get that. And this is why I, I say white people are, are disingenuous. Because, so because you say, I well, I'm going to explain. Wait, I want to know. Do you feel like I'm disingenuous talking with you? If you just said how much you hurt yes, and how much you guys feel, and you're not willing to show yeah, what God says, so just for, well, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish. Believe in the Bible. So I know, is that not, does that not suffice for you to now? You know, now you do But I, I, I feel all of us are one. I am not, so I am, we're one. I'm quick, I'm, I'm not able Quaker, to do I'm Jewish, what I'm our forefathers did to yours. Why, why can't we just say, I'm in with you? And what does I'm, that mean? What does that do for us? Well, what did you, you say know, you're in with me? What does that do for black people? What is well, because you know I am in agreement with a lot of what you're the saying. The only way I know is your actions show that. I have that. to kiss your boots? I'm just speaking by what God I'm says. Right. And I know you're not willing to do it because, once again, it's rare to meet an honest, sincere white person. And I thought you no, two were that. It. No, and uh, you two are not honest. You're going to the Bible. Right? You guys are not honest. Right? I thought you guys were honest. Yeah. If your actions don't show so, you just, you're just lying like your forefathers you did to the Native what? Americans. I can sit here with all my heart and say I will kiss your boots. It doesn't matter if you don't believe I would. I'm 75 years old. You may not believe that, but I can't go down there and do that. You, you would put bring your it up? yeah. You bring it there. Right there. Yeah. Give her a hand. All right. Steve, are you willing? Thank you. You, you, right. know, you don't think so? I no sweat. Go ahead, bro. I put your boot up here. Just do it. What difference does it make? It's just what the. No, because I don't. I'm, I'm what I'm trying to, to say is I don't believe in what the Bible said. You, you care about black people. We believe I care in about black people. people. We believe in it. It's not about you. Don't make yourself the center of everything. White people have to learn to be centered themselves. It's not about you. You should understand your I'm going to walk away from it. Here you go. It's, it's, it's another one. Here we go. Okay, let's do it. Give Steve a hand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look, we believe in you guys. Okay. Yeah. So, well, I can believe you now. You right. showed it, I can believe in you right. now. Diane, Steve. That's it. Okay. Right you guys have a good right. evening. Me too. All right. Take care. Hey, listen, brothers and sisters, man. If you like what you hear, hit the subscribe button, man. Subscribe to this channel. And also, please go to isupk.com and pay your tithe. Drop me some cash so we can move around this planet like we need to, man, and do the things we need to do. They're one west. They're one west. They're one west. They're one Yeah.